If you're manifesting an SP or anything else, then you need to stop limiting yourself. If you want to know what I'm talking about, then stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another rousing episode of Spill the Tea Tuesday. My name is Flossie, and I'm like the funniest, wittiest mindset coach, as well as your OG Hype You Up Rampage Queen here on YouTube. If you would like one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, links will be in the description box below, as well as links to things like the VIP group. The VIP is the place to be where it's lit, legit, and people get their fucking shit. We love to talk all about things manifestation-related and sometimes non-manifestation-related stuff, things that I don't talk about on here. Hmm. Anyways, before we get to the video, you know I love my calendar and I talk about my calendar quite frequently. This says what happened to the um, season of fucking gratitude. Sorry, lost myself for a second. What happened to the fucking season of gratitude? I don't know. I'm always in the season of gratitude. Why? Because I'm getting my shit and so are you. This says winter is fucking coming. Yeah, good. You know what that means? More time to what? Affirm. This says, bah, fucking humbug. Um, yeah, no, not in my reality. That is what we say to the 3D um, when it needs to move the F along because it's not in line with what we're manifesting. Cheers and all that festive shit. Yeah, but this is like all year round because what we're operant powers of our reality. We can be do have anything that we want. And that is part of what today's video is going to be on. And this says, let's get it fucking done. As in, let's get our routine's done, keeping a clean mental diet, let's get this shit done, and what, G-Y-S, get our shit, get your shit, get your shiznits. Anyway, without further ado, I'm getting a little uh, discombobulated here. The video today, which is part 12, can you believe that? I have 12, 12 videos in this series that's part of Spilling the Tea Tuesday about what not to do with manifesting an SP or anything else, and this is talking about stop limiting yourself. You wanna stop limiting yourself. You literally are the opera and power of your reality. You can legit be, do have anything that you want. Those are just hardcore facts. Those are hardcore facts as far as I'm concerned, period. And I've proven that to myself with what I've manifested. And I've seen other amazing manifestations of people who are subscribers here, people who are in Sammy's Mermaid Gang, all over the place. We hear of phenomenal things, even things that would seem like miracles are impossible. Why? Because we are not limited. We are literally limitless. So... You know, a lot of times I'll have people come to me and they'll describe their 3D situation and they'll say, I can't manifest what I want. Um, yes, you can. Circumstances literally do not matter. If you know that I have a video about that, that I'll probably link up over here. You know, my circumstances do not matter rant because what? They don't matter. Anyway, you know, people are talking about their circumstances. But the thing is, is that they're tiny, teeny. We have these teeny, tiny, puny human brains. They could not possibly fathom the millions of potential ways that we could get our manifestation. But our higher self, our the co higher consciousness within us, the God self that we are, the God self part of us that manifests knows. Why? Because it's connected to all, connected to all of the knowledge, all of the knowing, whatever it is that you want to call it. I really don't give a fuck. You know, everybody calls it different things, whether it's higher consciousness, whether it is the God, higher self does not matter. Don't care. But that part of us that we are connected to, all that is, guess what? Guess what it is? It's literally omnipotence. It is all-knowing. It knows everything. It's not constricted. It isn't like minuscule, like our teeny, tiny, puny, almost nearly irrelevant human brains. What our human brains can do, well, we are, we do have more functions in our, in our brain than what we even realize. And they do say that we're a lot smarter and are more capable than what we even think we are. But... As far as what we perceive, it isn't even an iota of what our God self, our higher self can do. It knows who and what needs to move for us to get our manifestation. It will move us and any everything and anything else for us to get our manifestation. So when you're manifesting an SP, if they are Chewbacca, which I know eventually I do have to make a Star Wars video and explain my analogy here, which I've been using for years and years and years. But if SP is Chewbacca and you want him or her to be the duder chick from Fifty Shades of Grey, you can get that version. You don't have to settle for Chewbacca. You don't even have to settle for partial Chewbacca, like a dressed up Christian Grey version of Chewbacca. No, no the fuck you don't. If 
your SP is literally like the busboy at Denny's and you no longer wish to manifest the busboy from Denny's because you know that you can have Aquaman. You can go after Aquaman. And eventually I do have to make my parody video discussing why continue to chase the busboy from Denny's when you could have Aquaman. And I just haven't done that either. But that's because that's something else I've been talking about for years. <clears throat> but you can literally have Aquaman. Don't limit yourself. You're manifesting money and you want millions upon millions of dollars because you want to live a life of luxury and you want to be Kim Kardashian too or you want to be like another form of Beyonce, go right ahead. It's literally your reality. You can legit be do have anything that you want. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to sing a note or if you have two nickels to rub together. You can literally manifest that. Don't limit yourself to being like, I'm going to manifest 50 bucks and that's all I'm ever going to get. No, 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 no. Not when you can literally be do have anything that you want. Now, if you don't want those things, you don't have to manifest those things. And isn't it wonderful that in your reality, you get to choose what you want because your desires, you know, when you have a desire, that creation is already finished and you can literally desire anything that you want because if you desire it, it means it already exists. And I know that probably sounds like a tongue twister and maybe a little confusing, but trust me, it's actually really not. There are multiple realities. And if you want something, that desire, that creation is already finished. You can't desire something that you cannot have. You just have to become the version of you that has it by what changing your dominant thoughts in line to that reality. It's just you start thinking from the end. You think as if you have it. That's literally all it is. I know a lot of coaches use conf uh, confusing terms and a lot of us are like, what the fuck are they talking about? They're all talking about the same thing most of the time if you boil it down. When you want something, you think as if you have it. You live from the end. You think from the end. You embody the state, which is what? Thinking as if you've got it, period. So you start thinking, at least that's how I put it anyway. Others might word it differently, but you start thinking as if you have what you have, what you want. You think as if you have it. I know my mom was talking too fast for myself. But anyway, you think as if you have it. Thank you very much, caffeine. Here we go. Caffeinated up. Just saying. But you think as always you have it. And guess what? You keep persisting in that. Your mind's going to have the buy-in. Your 3D reality must conform. So stop limiting yourself. You want money? Manifest money. You want a better version of SP? Manifest that better version. Don't settle for the insignificant version. You don't like SP anymore because you've risen up, you've glowed up, you've worked on your self-concept, and you're like, why the fuck am I after this when I can have uh, Aquaman or maybe Captain America? Whichever one that you want, the Hulk, I don't know. But you can have one of them or even Wonder Woman. If you want Wonder Woman, go get her. But... You can literally have any of them. So why settle? Why settle for money? Why settle for your career? If you want to be rocket scientist and you haven't gone to college, well, guess what? You can manifest knowledge or you can, if you don't subscribe to that, you can manifest getting into college and having it be a snap of your finger. There's people who are literally have gone through school to snap of a finger or they've manifested careers where they have literally you know, gotten their foot in the door, manifested getting their foot in the door and have climbed up the ranks faster than you would think possible. You know, you can literally have anything that you want. You don't even have to fathom the how. You can just affirm that you are that or that you have that and your 3D reality must conform. So no matter what it is, whether it's career, money, having a home, having a Mercedes, a Tesla and a BMW, having two or three SPs that all worship the ground you walk on, being the modern day version of Cleopatra, you can literally be do have any of that. So stop limiting yourself because someone says that you must or because your teeny tiny puny human brain tries to tell you that that's the way it's got to be. You know this bitch right here. She's always hungry for the bullshit. Put that shit in there and just manifest what you want and just GYS get your shit. Get your shiznits. And so this was just a quick video to try to tell you to stop limiting yourself and stop relying completely on your teeny tiny puny human brain um, when... You know, when you have that desire, all you have to do is stay laser focused on having it. Think as if you have it, change that dominant thought and watch your 3D reality conform. Stop limiting yourself when you are literally limitless. You're powerful, more powerful than you'll ever know and start stepping in that power so you can just have the life that you want and deserve. So there we go. So hope this video was helpful to you. You know, drop some questions, uh, concerns, video ideas below. I should be checking them out soon. I should have some time off to be able to do that. And until next week, you know what? I'll talk to you later. Bye.